Welcome everybody to one hour of miniature goodness and today it's Reaper Day. Um, I have metal miniatures from Reaper to paint. Ah, just so, could you please tell me if you can all hear me okay? <laughs> oh, excellent, super duper. Okay, so we have the Troll King today. We have a Troll King. This uh, I've already given it a black primer just to save us a little bit of time. Now, if you can hear a cat meowing or my door trying to get attacked, my cat wants to come in and she's on a mission and she's not letting up. <laughs> she's just a crazy cat. Absolutely beautiful miniature. As you all know, metal is my favorite type of miniatures. So what we're going to do today, we're going to plaster these with a lovely bit of paint and get them all done. Now this is the Frost Giant. This is quite an old miniature now, quite an old sculpt. And this is again all lovely metal. I've given this an undercoat of white. Let me say hello to people in chat before it zooms off. Um, welcome to Scorpler, uh, Michelle, uh, Carlos is in chat, uh, Bold GM, uh, Creativity, Veli, Veli, sorry if I said that wrong. <laughs> and there's another person in chat, I cannot say what that is, it's just a bunch of letters. <laughs> um, uh, Dawn's in chat, Crypt Monkey. Um, Geek Curios in chat. Thank, welcome, welcome, welcome. Who have I missed? I'm sure I've missed somebody now. I saw someone else and I've lost, lost them. Lost them! Okay, so today, blues. We have some beautiful, beautiful, we got Icy Violet, which isn't really blue, but uh, um, that's going to be my base coat for the Frost Giant. Then we got a Frosty Blue, all these by MSP, beautiful colours. And we got some Blue Flame as well. We're going to start with the uh, troll King because the idea is when I do multiple miniatures I try to work out my colors so I can use all my browns and then I can also use them on the frost giant as well stop meowing <laughs> meow <laughs> I got a crazy cat creativity creativity <laughs> It's all, thank you for being in chat anyway, and I do apologize. I, I can't speak half the time anyway. Okay, um, I decided I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna start with the blue one. So I'm gonna start getting some paint on my palette. Otherwise the hour will be gone before I've even started. Cutie cat, oh, it's 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 Molly, the, the cat. Can you, can you hear my cat meowing? Daddy, cuddle me, feed me. <laughs> now, as you all know, when we're painting miniatures, we all start off with our darkest colours. So that's what we're doing today, and we're going to work up with our lighter colours. Hi, Tal. How's your campaign adventure coming on that you're writing for me? Hope it's coming on well. Okay, we've got some beautiful blues there ready. And we're gonna start off with our violet, icy violet. And I'm using a huge brush. And I'm just putting it onto my little tissue here, taking it off the tissue. And I'm just gonna go over all the skin areas on the frost giant. And like I said to you before, it doesn't matter if I go over any of the other parts of the miniature because we shall be painting them anyway. And this is why I always get the largest parts of the miniature done first, which on these miniatures are the skin. So we're just going heavily over the whole of the mini. And this is our nice, lovely skin. This is actually lighter than I wanted. Um, I might actually go over this again with a darker. It's actually a little bit too light. 
Um, yeah, yeah, that's too light. I thought I'd try that colour, but I've realised it's a little bit too light for what I want for the first initial colour. So I'm going to change it to Glacier Blue. Sometimes colours, sometimes colours just work, and then there's sometimes you just see the colour, and it looks like a beautiful colour, and you think, oh, that's going to work fantastic. But once you get it on the miniature, it's like. Mm. <laughs> So what we're going to do, we're going into this glacier blue. Um, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Um, I'm going to leave that blue there. And we're going to get some more stuff on our palette. We've got some beautiful wood stained brown. Just, just filling up the palette for the lovely colours. colours so, so I can just, just fly, fly through the painting in a minute. It would be very nice if you could paint a long door. Although an hour isn't really a long time to uh, paint, um, and I do paint quite fast. So if anybody, if anybody does want to paint along with me, um, I I will try to tell you all what miniatures I'm painting on Discord every week. And then if you want to bring the miniatures on and paint along with me, um, that would be great fun. Okay, okay, let's, let's try, try this again. again. I'm going to actually brush this on now because that really didn't work and now I need to go heavier. And it's not too bad because the paint is still wet. I can actually kind of blend the two together, so that's fine. The key is to not get stressed out about making any mistakes or change of colors and just work with the colors you've got. And you'll be amazed, it all comes together. So we're just going over all the skin areas now with this different blue. We all make mistakes. And if we didn't make mistakes, then we wouldn't be human, would we? See, that's already looking better with that blue. Much nicer, much nicer. What I'll do once I've put, put these um, skin, like this first uh, layer on, I shall put the frost giant on top of my radiator, help help it dry out a little bit more. This is an absolutely gorgeous miniature. Um, with the metal miniatures, you'll find they're not as large as the plastic miniatures uh, because of the larger the metal miniature, of course, it's going to cost so much more to produce. So the miniature would be quite expensive. I mean, already metal is uh, an, uh, expensive anyway. Um, and the plastic bones, large miniatures are fantastic value for money for their size. But of course, you're not getting metal you're getting bones plastic uh, which is very nice but definitely my preferred is metal and I know most of you are the same um, there we go. it's quite hard painting on stream because of the angle I paint I'm painting forward I'm normally up here by my face um, so I do apologize if it looks a bit weird sometimes. We're just getting this initial color on. So we got the main coat there and that looks that looks much nicer, much nicer than that last one. We can work with that. Okay.
Good. Onto the radiator you go. Right then, let's move on to our Troll King. The Troll King, again, we're going back and we're doing it nice and heavily with our browns. So we're using our brown from our palette there, putting it onto the tissue. And this is a very, very simple miniature of the paint. It's mainly all troll skin. Um, so what we're just going to do here is just start adding our browns. It's a super, super easy paint, uh, but it absolutely looks amazing just by adding the brown all to the highest areas. We we'll keep the black, of course, as our high, um, as our shadows. And what we're doing is very, very heavily. I can't even speak tonight. Very heavy, putting on our paint onto the highest areas, but leaving the black coming through. And it's a very simple way to make an awesome-looking skin. Now we're going for three or four highlights for the skin today. We're going to finish off with ghoul skin, which is um, like a very, very lighter greeny type of colour. A greeny type of colour. There we are. I'm just going over all the skin areas, nice and fast. This one hasn't even got any pants on. He's got his bare bum showing, look. Naughty little troll king. There we are, that's beautiful. Now, I'm gonna start adding some lighter brown into the darker brown. I'm gonna start building up those skin tones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we're very lucky we don't have gifts in um, in chat. Um, otherwise, there'd be all sorts of weirdness going on, especially especially when Geek Curio's in the house. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm going back over the skin, but it's not so heavy. But what's happening is it's bringing out all those lovely details of this miniature. It's very fast and simple. Go around the face, around the cheekbones, on top of the ears. And again, we're going a little bit lighter. Just adding a tiny bit more brown to it. And again, a little bit lighter with the dry brush in. I mean, for dry brushing, I don't. My dry brushing is almost wet dry brushing. Um, it's very difficult for me to say. It's um, most people when you think dry brushing, it's a very dry paint on your brush. Um, the way I call dry brushing, um, if you watch lots of my videos and streams, um, uh, my, the paint is still wet. It's almost it's almost like wet blending with a dry brush effect you you're you're flicking the brush over the whole miniature to pick to pick out the highest areas um but you're not going for a full-on dry brush you still got a bit of moisture on the brush so you're just blending each layer of paint onto the miniature <laughs> michelle when have you ever been good <laughs> As you can see, it's absolutely looking fantastic already, and we've just got two covers on there. What we're going to do now is we're going to start adding that ghoul skin, just to build it up a little bit. Hello, Mokai! I'll do my little uh, self-promotion for myself and Mighty Lancer Games. Mighty Lancer Games said they couldn't join us tonight, so I'm still going to give them a shout out because I love them lots. Um, if you become my patron, of course, um, uh, you'll get 10% off everything from Mighty Lancer Games 
in the UK from their online store um, which is absolutely fantastic it's um, a very good discount and um, that's available to all goblins um, and I think 90 99% of you are goblins that are actually in chat which is very awesome and thank you for popping on to see me playing with my miniatures today right ghoul skin I'm going to put it on my tissue like I've done and I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of that brown just mix it in a little bit because we don't want it too strong to begin with and we'll just work on those muscles again just lighter this time again just going down oh that's nice just on the highest parts all around the face on the tops of the ears it's just picking out all the best parts of the miniature Just highlighting all those little muscles. Get his buttocks in. Make sure his buttocks are shiny. <laughs> shiny buttocks. <laughs> oh my god, I lost it. There you go. <laughs> shiny buttocks. Keep painting like he, he can get it. See, that's starting to look really, really nice now. We've got some really nice tones going on. And what we'll just do now is the last little tone for the skin is we'll just go directly into the ghoul skin. And we'll just leave it as it is. And we'll just pick off the highest areas just very gently. I'm, I, I'm using a huge brush. So if I can do this with a brush half the size of the mini, you guys can do this at home, believe me. There we are. Just making sure his tummy's got a bit of light. What we're doing with this actual, we're hitting that light source again. So we're just hitting the tops of the fingers, elbow there, top of the hand just here, just on the thigh there, tummy, top of the lip and the ears and that's all we need for that one that's that's perfect for that skin tone there and now we can just work on the rest of the miniature painting the eyes and the teeth and that'll be blitzed and done okay let's go back to our <laughs> I gotta stop painting butts. <laughs> okay, back to the frost giant. Let me just drink some of my coffee. Um, Claire, I think the milk is off. Oh, it is. That doesn't taste right. Yeah. I'm, she's probably slowly poisoning me, knowing Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm not going to look at chat anymore. <laughs> i got to try and paint without shaking, you know that. Okay, we're going into this colour now. <laughs> We're going into frosty blue and we're just going to start highlighting our lovely little frost giant and again we're just using the very large brush and it's the same brush I used before and we're just going to start going over all those skin areas some of the highest areas Shit, my cotton buds this is what I do as well um, when you're doing lighter colors uh, sometimes it can look a bit chalky to begin with or you can add too much 
and what you can do is with a cotton bud you can work the paint in with the cotton bud it calms the paint down it relaxes the paint <laughs> <laughs> Hello Ty, nice to see you in chat. The um the cotton bud or the baby bud or the I never know do you, you call these Q tips do you? Hello Mr Perks. Now what we're doing is we're just working this paint onto the blue. It doesn't matter that I'm going over the rest of the miniature because that's all going to be painted. The main thing is to get this skin looking nice and ready. And what we're doing is just going over the skin. We keep on going back over the skin, back over the skin and working our paint. Um, you let it, let the paint do the work for you really you're just just imagine you're just adding the paint to the miniature and the paint's doing its thing and it's already starting to bring out all the different highlights like on she's got a little bit of stomach muscle there so that's starting to come out nicely and um, her, her bits here they're coming starting to <laughs> they're starting to pop out <laughs> they're starting to work nicely as well so yeah we'll go back to the blue <laughs> I've lost it oh my god <laughs> Michelle help me out here for goodness sake <laughs> difficult it is to paint and laugh at the same time okay I'm trying my best here I'm trying my best here so <laughs> as you can see we're keeping the dark blue in the places we want to keep it dark like just on the sides there um, but what we're doing is we're slowly building up that skin just by brushing on higher levels on top of each other on a And what I'm doing is I'm starting to add that lighter blue now. So we're moving on to blue flame and we're adding that to our last color. So it's actually getting lighter and lighter and lighter. It's fantastic this is nice yeah, yeah I'm quite, quite happy, happy this is coming out this is good yes there we are that's about that's about as far as I'm going to go on the skin tone so far I think that's great so far that's that's enough now I'm not going to do any more on this because sometimes you can overdo it so that's perfect for me so far on that skin <laughs> I was just <laughs> tell tell I totally agree as soon as I said Michelle help me out here I suddenly realized that was the real bad thing to say <laughs> Okie dokie, we're going to carry on with our frost 
frost giant because we got our brown what we're going to do is if I can find a nice decent brush here we're going to start painting in all the brown areas on the miniature like here let's see if we can get there so we just quickly go over here and start adding in all the lovely browns now all the areas of leather will be in brown of course and we can highlight the, this brown with a lighter brown and this the brown will then be given an, a brown ink wash um, and of course that will really make it look nice now this is all the little furry bits here so what I'll probably do is I'll paint them maybe in black and then I can very gently dry brush over all the fur areas um, to give a nice um, fur effect. Um, all the little boots and stuff, they can all be in brown. So we're going over the whole of the boots. The boots have got laces on, so that doesn't matter because what we'll do is we'll paint the whole of the boot brown first and then when the paint is wet, that's uh, when the paint is dry, then we can go over uh, all the laces that are going up the boots. <laughs> you guys love it. You guys love it when I start uh, melting down on, sh on, on Twitch, don't you? <laughs> Mike's losing the plot, quick! Everybody in! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, if anybody is in chat um, and they are not part of the Goblin Army or they're not a patron, um, all these people that are being crazy in chats, they're all kind of p part family. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all they're all in the goblin army they're all just crazy crazy people but um, I wouldn't ask for better friends um, anywhere it's um, it's an amazing community we have and they're all so friendly Makai you are being good today <laughs> it's Tom Tommy's just arrived, has he? Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going over all these parts now with the uh with the brown that need the brown um, so that's all good there we are. oh and we need to do the um, the juicy bits as we all want to call it um, the juicy bits <laughs> juicy bits See, you all, you guys have all got me totally messed up now. I can't even remember what women's things are called in. <laughs> oh dear, Mikey, stop it. Okay, we're painting the bra. There you go. It's a bra. It's not called juicy things. Oh, my God. <laughs> stop that. See, I'm making a mess now because I'm laughing at myself, being an idiot. There you go. There you go. That's good. So we've got the brown on. And we're going to just put that there. And we'll maybe forget about her for the rest of the evening. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, 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 in yes. <laughs> Over the shoulder boulder holders. <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness me! <laughs> Boulder holders, oh my god! Oh, I'm crying now. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> right, let's carry on with our troll. Right, for all the leathery bits, again, we're going back into the brown, but we'll go with a lighter brown because then that will look nice with the rest of the miniature. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting my stream to be like this today. I really was not. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, calm down, Mikey. We can get on with this. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I apologize for me losing, losing the plot. I'm going to just carry on. Now, I'm using Shield Brown for the, the leather parts here. <laughs> oh my god. I need to go for a walk with my dog after the show just to calm my head down a little bit. All I can think of is <laughs> No I'm not gonna no no <laughs> uh... Goodness me. Uh, naughty goblins. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. I've got salt in my eye now from laughing too much. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Let me see what I'm doing here. Are we in focus? I think we've totally lost lost the show and lost the plot tonight now. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so we're just doing these little wraps around the legs. I'm trying to keep it together here. Don't laugh, Mikey. Come on. As you can see, he's got like a, a loincloth here, and it's got uh, like I'd say silver plating going around. Um, I'm assuming it's like silver plating. plating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it brown for the undercoat of the loincloth, as I'm going to call it a loincloth, um, and then we can go over the plated parts with our silver on top. Um, that way, we've we've actually painted the loincloth. And it makes it easier to actually just paint the silver on top then. And the same with those arms there. Oh, what, what questions do you want answered? 
Oh, you wasn't asking me a question. Was it? <laughs> well, I hope I hope you enjoyed this stream tonight. Um, making the goblin goblin king lose it, loses, lose it. <laughs> uh, if you didn't learn anything tonight, then you can all blame yourselves. <laughs> Michael Wardor, look. What am I looking at? Oh, thank you, Ty. What am I going to base base the the uh, the, fo the frost giant with? I'm tr look, it's difficult for me to look in chat without losing my beep beep, you know? <laughs> it's, it's been a very difficult stream. <laughs> yes, um, the, frost, um, the frost giant, I shall be adding a little snow base with my snow, with my sand. If you want, I can show you the snow base before we leave. Um, it's a very f quick process. <laughs> <laughs> no, Tommy. It's it, Tommy. Is the problem? The problem isn't looking at chat. The problem is looking at chat and me not losing it <laughs> because I'm laughing too much. Okay, what I'll do then is I shall just finish this little bit because I've got some paint on my brush, and I don't know what time it is. What time are we on? That's fine. What I'll do is I shall base up the frost giant quickly. It's a, I've showed you before. All it is is we're using white sand, mix it with PVA glue, and we just add it to the base. Absolutely fantastic. So anyway, so far this is our troll king, and I think that is absolutely looking beautiful so far. It's an absolutely gorgeous model, a miniature, should I say? Um, and that's going to look amazing once that's finished. But I shall base, I shall put some snow on this base for you guys just to show you the snow. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. Uh, Dawn, that um, um, once I've finished, Dawn, once I've finished this mini, um, I might send it in your March parcel with, with the rest of the minis. If you'd like this one, once it's finished, of course. <laughs> yeah, with shiny, shiny butt, shiny butt, and all. <laughs> okay, let's let let me let me calm myself down and show you some base in there. Okay, so what we need is PVA glue. Let's move this back a little bit. We've got PVA glue. Now the PVA glue you can buy from any craft shop. Um, I'm, I'm not using any particular brand, um, so it's not um, it's not an expensive make uh, at all. Now you've probably seen me make the snow before, but I shall show you again. Now all you do for a snow base uh, to make the snow. is you can even buy this which is white sand um, you can get white sand from eBay very very cheap you can buy it by the kilo um, and that's a great thing to do you save so much money or you can buy it from uh, like Mighty Lancer Games in little buckets and little tubs uh, but if you want to save a lot of money you're better off buying a huge big tub like so um, and it's it's the same thing that you're buying in these little tubs it's white sand uh, so you're not actually uh, there's no difference to it at all it works exactly the same but it's at minimal the, the cost of what you're paying from the from the retail shops yep 
Yes, Amazon. Um, I, was, I was actually talking. I was actually talking to my partner Claire, uh, Scorpio, should I say? Sorry, Scorp. Um We was actually talking before the show um, how much we spend um, every month on Amazon. You know, just like Amazon Prime. Claire, Claire, um, Claire has that audio, audible books, um, and we both we both buy things from Amazon all the time. Um, it's just crazy the amount of money Amazon must make uh, from all us hobbyists especially with this um, nasty little COVID virus as well so all I'm doing is adding some PVA glue to the bottom of one of my blister packs and we're just adding some of the sand and we just mix in the sand with the PVA glue Dawn, I, I, it's been about, it's been about two years, I think, since I've actually withdrawn any money out of a bank now. Every single thing I do is online. My shopping's online. Uh, you know, if you buy petrol, that's just with your card. Um, you don't need money anymore. There's no, no, there's no need for it. I mean, I mean, all, all my, my parcels, parcels now, um, we, we have, have to post, post all my parcels, my, my, the local post, post office is just closing down. So, so all my parcels now are actually getting picked up directly from the house. If Claire, if Claire and myself didn't have a dog, I don't think we would leave the house at all. <laughs> so we've got a nice little consistency going with our snow there. It actually looks like snow, beautiful stuff. So we we'll just put that there. Get this out of the way. Now we need another little bit of glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue in this corner here. Now this is the important part, and I have said this before. What you need to do every time you add snow to a base is you have to add PVA glue to the base before you add the snow. So we just take an old monkey brush. And what we do is we just add the PVA glue to the base. Now the reason why I add this to the base is because it helps the uh, snow stick when you're initially putting it on. But what happens if you don't do this um, later on when the base is fully dry from the snow um, what will happen is the the snow will start to peel up and come away from the base so by adding this PVA glue to the base first uh, once it's all dry it actually stops it peeling and warping because that's what can happen if you don't do this to the beginning of your base so that's that we just put that in there and all we do now is to start adding the sand um, our little snow so just like icing the cake I know we've got a few chefs in the house in the uh, goblins uh, goblin army um, we're going along the side and then we're going down and there we go pushing along the side through the snow uh, just tapping it down a little bit and we just work our way around the base now of course because the snow is white it's going to start reflecting um, from my lamps so I do apologize if you can't see it too well because um, my webcam for some reason uh, picks up white glare which is awful now 
Now, snow bases are fantastic. Um, now, if you're um, into Star Wars and you want to do Hoff bases, uh, this will be the way you do your bases for making Hoff as well. Um, on this Sunday, um, um, I'll be painting the Rebel Hoff, uh, the, the Imperial Hoff soldiers uh, from the Star Wars Legion game. And I'll be doing all the bases like this with snow. You can buy um, different types of snow. You can buy the snow that's a bit like um, icing sugar. Uh, but I found that uh, this snow, what I'm doing now, where I'm adding the PVA glue to the snow and making a, a thicker consistency, um, I just find the snow looks more real. Um, it actually really does look like snow. <laughs> um, I've, I've tried so many different variations of snow but white sand has been definitely the one that's worked best for me um, and of course it's very cheap because you can buy white sand on Amazon or eBay um, and you can get big bags of it and all you're doing is you mix the white sand with the PVA glue and you're good to go And there we are, and that's how you do a very, very simple, fast snow base. And you can do that with all your miniatures. Hello, Renegade Shank. Yes, and there we are. What time are we on now? There we are. Well, that's about as far as I'm going to get today. Um, <laughs> because... You all messed me up. <laughs> what I'll be doing now is I shall be finishing uh, these two miniatures. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make, a, like I say, I'll be making YouTube videos of all the finished miniatures and do a 360. But as you can see, basic skin tones done. Let me get a closer look here for you. Basic skin tones for your frost giant. Um, all we need to do is the hair and paint in the rest of the fur. But that's absolutely looking fantastic. And of course, the um, Troll King, which is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love that. The skin tones and that, just absolutely beautiful. Very fast, very simple and effective way to paint your monster skin. And of course, we always use a dark color to begin with and work our way to lighter colors. And that's the way to paint nice, simple skin. Look at you all wanting me to stay. You make me laugh. You make me cry. <laughs> I got cold coffee. Have you got any... <laughs> Have you got any questions before I say goodnight to everybody? It's always a pleasure and it's always lovely that you all want to see what I'm up to and how I'm getting on and what I'm doing. Um, it isn't easy doing Twitch streams. Um, for someone like me, I, I'm a very nervousy type of person, uh, so it takes a while for me to you know, get into things. Um, but it is amazing that you all so support me, um, and I love every single one of you for that. Um, and it's just amazing. Thank you for following, Sholane. Hello. So that's it, everybody. I'm going to say goodnight to every single one of you. Um, stay safe out there. Um, I know it's still nasty. I shall be... <laughs> I shall be... Take care, Tal. I shall be back on Tuesday. And on Tuesday, I might be doing a few different little things. So I've also got a secret thing planned, but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> but I might do... Um, I might do some Kraken Ship miniatures 
on Tuesday, and they are um, a, a sponsor of mine, um, and they have got some absolutely beautiful fantasy miniatures. So I, I would like to show you all their different range of miniatures that they're doing uh, in the future. So I shall see you in chat, and I shall see you in Discord, and have an absolutely beautiful weekend. And I shall see you. I'll see you in Discord. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you all off for making me laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody.